Hey guys, so in front of you, you see a video that I created back on August 10th, 2022. When I was making this video, I was changing the background shadows. And when I was changing the background shadows to customize it a little bit in dark mode, you, you'll notice that these squares showed up in the corner. Now, one of the people who were checking out my video right here, and they posted a comment. Thank you for commenting, by the way. And uh, this person says, is there a way to remove the white boxes at the corners? And they say, thank you. And you're, you're quite welcome. Thank you. So these white boxes here, they show up whenever you adjust that shadow. Now, as far as I know, there's no way to remove that in the in the current version of LibreOffice that you're running. However, breaking news, breaking news. It dawned on me that there is a way that we can get rid of those white squares. Now, the version of LibreOffice that you're looking at right now is a newer version 7.5. However, in your older version, you have those white squares, which is what we're talking about in this video. It dawned on me that if we went to tools, options, and then down to application color, we can just simply go to the shadows setting, which is the setting that we were adjusting in order to make the border go around the document. And that's where the white blocks start to show up. However, if we simply take away the check mark on the shadow setting and hit apply, the border will disappear and on yours, those white squares should disappear. Now that's not perfect because you now lose your shadow effect. However, the white squares do disappear. Now returning you back to the video that is in progress because there's still some great information in there concerning LibreOffice. However, check this out. If we jump over to LibreOffice, just recently they have released the alpha build for 7.5. I'm going to go ahead and click on download, download LibreOffice, scroll on down here, and you'll see that the pre-release version is right here. We click on 7.50. You know how this goes. And you'll see that you can download the alpha one version. Now it says alpha, which is nowhere even close to beta. Well, no beta probably will be coming out soon. However, alpha is by no means production ready. But why I want to show you this is when I loaded it up, because you know, I live dangerously. As soon as they release a alpha I'm on it so <laughs> but you'll notice the screen in front of you no white squares in the corners of these pages if we go ahead and click on tools then go to options and then we will be underneath application colors you will see the shadow here is white and that is what I changed to make that border go around but again there is no white boxes there so when 7.5.0 fully releases you can download that upgrade to that and that white box thing will not be a problem for you at all, which is which is wonderful. Now, as far as this alpha build, which is very exciting, is that this alpha build is expected to be released in February of the coming year, 2023. They have fixed 750 bugs in here, over 750 bugs has been fixed in this. But the other thing is, is that in the comments of the other video that I made, uh, different ones were talking about the contrast and in the in the dark mode. This version has much better support for dark and high contrast operating system themes. And again, you know, and another thing I should mention, if you're running on windows, then you want to make sure that dark mode is enabled on windows as well. When you go to enable dark mode inside of LibreOffice, this new version of LibreOffice, the dark mode and the high contrast is much better supported, but it also is much better supported across the platforms, meaning Linux and Mac OS, as well as windows. Cause somebody had commented about a Mac OS issue that they were having as well as in a Linux version about the dark mode. So in the new version 7.5, we should have much better support on those operating systems. So I hope that that is going to bring about the fixes that we were hoping for. The next thing that I wanted to bring to your attention was another comment where I was talking about in the video, I was talking about the, the override styles and, and, and having a, a really good format. And the, uh, the person asked here, Hey, did you find out the perfect default uh, paragraph style that I was talking talking about in that video. I did find that video and I'm going to show you that right here. And right now you want to go to a video called overriding styles in Libre writer. And it's on a channel called writing done right. And this video here, not just this video, but this channel here for everybody that's in the Libre office and writer and so on and so forth. This channel is a good channel for you to check out. And I would say, go ahead and subscribe. Now I don't know this person at all. I'm just saying that they have great information and I'm not concerned about telling you to go over to another channel. My concern is, is I want to help be a vehicle for you to find the answers that you're looking for. Hopefully one day, you know, I'll have all the answers. <laughs> 
But in any case, I did find a great resource for you guys. So check out this channel and share the knowledge with me too now. Come on back to me. <laughs> and let me know what's up. So that is another question answered. And I'm going to go through, there's other questions that are in here that I'm trying to find the answer for. I've been asking around. Trust me, I have not forgotten you guys. And thank you so much for commenting. Again, you have no idea how much that means to me. Okay, guys, as a little bit of a bonus, you might know that I have a collection different items that I collect, movies, figures, different things like that. Um, you might want to check that out. And I have a little bit of an unboxing on the end of this video. Oh, we got a lot of wrap around here. What do we got? Oh, okay. So what we have here, this is Paige, Paige Tico, which is the older sister of Rose Tico from uh, the Star Wars movies, the, the, the newer trilogies. And I know that there's some back and forth about that. But however, why I want this in my collection is for the simple fact that this there's not a lot of these. She only lived a little bit of time throughout the movie. And this will fast become rare. So a lot of times, and here's a, a little bit of advice from me. A lot of times if you have a movie that even if people don't like or you have characters that people don't like, a lot of times those odd characters are the ones that become the thing that people are looking for in the future because there ain't that many of them or nobody bought that many of them. So they start to become more and more rare. So this is Paige Tico, which is the sister of Rose Tico. She's the bombardier in that scene where they're dropping bombs in space. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. But I, this is a good thing to have in a collection. So I, I have that now. So I'm happy that I have that. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot for checking me out on this video. I hope to see you on the next one. Dream right, go. This is DWG. I'm out of here. Peace. It won't leave My friends, hey Get out of your comfort zone It's a blessing in disguise Get out of what you call